What's up, y'all? Well, look a mess, man. Mm. Hey, 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 hey. How you guys feeling? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Why my hair look all white? I look old, don't I, Damari? Huh? Yeah, I look old. I look beat down, don't I? <laughs> That's because I've been out working. Mm-hmm. We've been out working. What's up, Gerald Kenya Jones? I always say your full name that's on the thingy when I just need to say Kenya, right? <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. What's up, Latoya? Hey, Kathy Davis. Man, y'all, what's up? I tell you what. Today's been a full day for me, and as you can see right now, I'm on grandmama duty. Right? So it's going to be a full night because I typically have him until about 1130 at night. So usually I get in about 4, 415 to 1130 and I don't really get too much in. But um, today's been a full day for me. Very excited. You excited? Hmm? We about to change the game. Yeah, yeah. Tell them. We about to change the game. Finally, we have gotten an office for Sue Ham Entertainment. No more working uh, at home. And I'm going to show you guys in a couple of days where I used to sit, the chair I sat in where I was writing my stage plays, where I was doing my webinars. If you're just following me, and I'm sorry I look so beat, but hey, it is what it is. Take these glasses off, they keep falling down. I look beat because I am beat. That's just real. But um, I'm gonna show you the chair where I used to sit in, an old wooden chair, sitting at a little table, writing my stories. And these are stories that have traveled the world, have won in film um, competitions. We produced them. Mm -hmm. We produced them in North Carolina and South Carolina, our stage plays. And I wanted to share that. And I'm going to send pictures and put it in the, in the uh, office because you, I don't think you should despise humble beginnings. A lot of time people want to step out and do things on a multi-million dollar level. And they're not really ready for that. So for the longest time, I've just been sitting in a small house, um, writing and putting my work out to the world. Hey, what you want to tell them? Hmm? putting my work out to the world thankful for the internet and because of that internet and being able to send my work out and to do videos God has blessed me to get on national stages whether it's been on TV or um, to be in California with Urban Playwrights United to see one of my plays produced in California it's just been amazing the internet is limitless guys it's limitless if you are limitless if you don't succumb to excuses and so finally now to be able to go into our own office is amazing now I have my own rehearsal space I have a space where I have a call center where people will be calling on my behalf to get us bookings for lectures get us into the schools to talk about bullying hire us everything can be free um, I'll be able to do classes uh, share the information that people have been wanting for so long um, I'll be able to do mentoring programs. I'll be able to create my drama group now because I have a place to meet, a place to teach. Just so many more things that I can do for my community and do for myself with this office space. And I just want to say to people who um, are waiting to take the leap, uh, if you're afraid, just do it. <laughs> um, if you think you don't have enough money, take a look at your bank account and assess what you are spending your money on. And if it's going towards food and clothing and just a bunch of tomfoolery, craziness, dumb stuff, then adjust and put that money where it needs to go. Um, because I, I listen to Grant Cardone a lot. And Grant Cardone said, you're not really a business if you're working from home, if you don't got no employees, right? You want to work for me? <laughs> if you don't have no, no employees and you're working from home. And I was like, wow. He said, you can't get big like that. He said, really, you're being selfish because you're doing everything yourself. So that you can minimize the money that's going out. Because you're trying to keep all the money for yourself. But really, if you could just maximize your team, then your potential is maximized. Then your income will be maximized. And I said, oh my God, that did something to my mindset. I was like, okay, 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 okay. I've been talking about it for years. Getting an office space and having people come in and... Uh, you know, call and let more people know about Sue Ham Entertainment. And I said to myself, you've been writing for years that Sue Ham Entertainment will be a household name. But what are you really doing to ensure that? Yeah, you do your shows, your stage plays and everything. 
But after the stage plays, man, you are heavy. Let's go sit down. After the stage plays, what are you doing? And it was like the way to do it is to continue to get bookings. The way to get bookings, yeah, you can do your Facebook ads and everything. But you got to call. You got to visit. You got to let people know who you are. You got to make noise. And so, um, just grabbing a chair, guys, because this boy is heavy. And so, um, I, it's something I've known I've needed to do for years. I just haven't done it. And so, finally, I pulled the trigger and I did it. And I was just like, it's, it is done. <laughs> it is done. And I just said to myself, now it's time to grow. Now it's time to increase the income. Now it's time to help the community in an even deeper way. Yeah, Jennifer, that's deep. Now it's time to really think outside the box. Because it's, it's funny how, like, when you got bills that you got to pay. Well, for me, anyways. If you got bills and stuff you got to pay, it's two things that's going to happen. One, you're going to succumb to the pressure and crumble because you feel like you can't do anything. Or two, you're going to say, okay, how can I create income to get out of this hole? What can I do to take myself to another level? And for me, I had already been through that phase of crumbling and feeling like I was helpless. And that didn't help anything. That didn't stop people from wanting their money for their bills. (laughs) So I decided, yo, let me see how I can go to a different level and create more income. Right, boop? He said, I don't care about none of that. You just take care of me. And... So, I just want to say, I'm going to go ahead and close this. To anybody who's watching, Sweaty Sue Ham right now, you have a dream. You got to go after your dream. You know your dream is supposed to be big. You've seen it. You, you know, you just feel it. You've had it ever since, that intuition ever since you were young. You know you're supposed to be doing certain things. Then you got to do it. You got to step out and do it. You know, with me having this office space, if it doesn't work, oh well. I can rebound. See, I'm not afraid to take risks and I'm not afraid to fail. So therefore, I'm not afraid to try new things. And so if you're watching this, listen, you can make it work. You can make it. It takes work, but you can make it work. And I just want to say I'm excited about the office space because it means we could do more things in the community. We could do more things for our company. Um, I get to see another dream come true, which for me, it increases my faith every time which makes me want to do even bigger things, attempt to do even bigger things. And I'm sure I'll fall on my face more and more and more. But there'll be times when I'll get up and I'll leap tall buildings. Like what, Superman did that? Yeah, I'll be able to freaking leap tall buildings because every time I'm not going to fall on my face. But I'll be able to win. And so I want to encourage you to keep going. Um, Thank you guys for always supporting me and inspiring me. I know you say I inspire you and that's what I love to do, but you inspire me too. And thank you for sharing that I inspire you. Um, Because sometimes on my worst days when I feel like, man, is this even worth it? I'll get someone writing something on my page and saying, yo, you rock. You inspire me. I appreciate you. And I just want y'all to know I appreciate that. I look at it. I read it. I try to respond to as many of them as I can. I don't take it for granted. Um, I can't wait for y'all to see the window art that we're going to have on this thing, man. It is so tight. Oh, my God. The window art that is going to be on the glass of my office space. And it's just, I'm, I'm, I'm dope. I'm super excited. And this will be able to go down in history as the first office space for Suham Entertainment. Because I already know, people think I'm crazy, but I've said it uh, years ago, and I'll say it again, that Hollywood is coming to Williamsburg County. Hollywood, and I'm going to say it again, Hollywood is coming to Williamsburg County. And the first step to that is me opening up my office. And I have the building, so now it's time to get it cracking, baby, on and popping. Look at that sun. That's God's glow. That's God's glow. Look at me, y'all. Looking kind of crazy. But um, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. I got to go. You hot? <laughs> I got to go. I hope his mama don't see this. I love y'all. Y'all keep praying great prayers for us. Good prayers. See, I'm I'm specific on what I ask for. Pray good prayers for us. Because some of y'all might go out there and pray. I hope she fail. Hey, but no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Come on, somebody. Ah, come on. I don't dwell on negative. I focus on positivity. Some may say I'm delusional because of it. But I can't handle the negativity. It kills my soul. It kills my spirit. So I focus on the positivity. And if I get hurt because I love, because I trust... Then I just get hurt, but I get back up and I realize that not everybody is the same. And that next person is going to give me extra love for the hurt that I may have had to gone through. Come on, somebody. 
Come on, somebody. I'm going to always keep an open mind. I'm going to always love, be kind, and compassionate, no matter how you do me. But see, I believe that in most cases, uh, you get reciprocity. That means what you give is what you get. So that's why my life has been so great, because the light that shines through me attracts other light. And when it doesn't, I repel it like bug spray, baby. I love y'all. Connect with me at suham.com, S-U-E-H-A-M.com. Stay tuned for the upcoming classes here in Williamsburg County. Peace.